On today's affordable backyard woodworking video, I'm going to build one of these three bed bunk bed systems. Now, my wife found this on Amazon. It was too expensive. I was like, well, I'll try to build it myself first. So what I'm going to start with is I'm actually going to glue two two by fours together. And the reason I'm doing this is it's cheaper instead of buying a four by four and cutting it down the size. And I didn't want it to look too much like a four by four. So I cut it to exactly two inches by three inches after I glued them together. And it worked out really good. And it's a lot cheaper than buying a four by four. So I made a total of four of these so basically i used eight two by fours gluing them together and it was still cheaper than buying four by four so it worked out great um but once i get these all cut down to size that i want then i'm going to take them outside here do some sanding on it and kind of make them nice and smooth just look a little bit nicer here now once i get finished with all this sanding i'm going to go back in and grab my one by threes i'm going to cut a total of 12 one by threes at 38 and a half inches six one by fours at 38 and a half inches and six two by fours cut at 38 and a half inches and once you get these all cut down to size again they're all the same size um, i'm gonna go ahead and sand them get them nice and smooth after i grab those i'm gonna go back to my two by fours that i glued together i'm gonna cut eight at 31 inches and four at 15 and a half inches get those all cut up for the bed ends i'm going to go ahead and grab my one by fours here and i'm just going to kind of put like a nice arch on there just kind of give it more of a look and take my jigsaw here and just kind of cut a curve out and once i get those curves cut out this is just going to be for a total of six of these uh one by fours all the one by fours and then once i get that i'll sand them a little bit and then after that it's pocket hole time and start getting all these pocket holes for all the one by threes the one by fours and the two by fours that i cut all at 31 and a half inches so next, I'm going to grab my 15 and a half inches, uh, the 2x4s I glued together for the end post. I'm going to grab two of those, and I'm going to grab a 2x4 here, go ahead and screw it on flat with the bottom, flush. And then I'm going to grab my 1x4 and pretty much flush at the top here, get that glued and screwed in, and then put that middle piece in here. And, and it should be about 6 inches on center on all three of these. And this is going to be for the bottom bed um, that will pretty much be sitting on the floor. And after that, I'll grab my 31 inch bed end post here and, and go ahead and grab my 1x4, my 1x3, and my... Two by four, they're all 38 and a half inches. Glue and screw those all together. And once I get all these glued and screwed together, I should have a total of six bed ends all together. There'll be four that are 31 inches tall and two that are 15 and a half inches tall. So next, I'm going to grab my hardware that I ordered off Amazon. And these actually turn out to be pretty good quality. And I ordered three packs of four here. And I'm going to go ahead and grab those and um, put the first end on the bottom of these two by four, just flush it with there. And then after that, I'll grab the opposite end and Go ahead and screw that to the 2x4s that I uh, cut down here to 70 inches long. And just a little tip here is to make sure you check and you're putting the right way because you can put them on upside down. I had to check a couple times because I had to take them off a couple times and switch them around. But just make sure they're the right side up when you put all these on here. And don't make the same mistake that I did. <laughs> So next, I'm going to grab my bottom headboard and footboard, the 15 and a half inch one. Take my 7th, 8th inch spade bit and drill a 2 inch hole just on the top side. And then I'll grab the two of the 31 inch headboards and footboards and do the same thing and drill one on the top and bottom side of the headboard. This will be the middle one. Then on the top headboard and footboard, I'm just going to drill on the bottom side. And again, all those are going to be 2 inches in depth and they're all going to be 7 8 inch spade bit. And then I'll grab my 7 8 inch dowel rod here and cut these to 4 inches. And I'll allow 2 inches on the bottom and on the top for the dowel rod to stick in. The way these can stack on top and of each I'm other. Next I'm going to grab 2 1x3s and cut those down to 55 inches. And have 2 cut down to 40 inches. And then a total of 7 cut down to 9 inches. And I'll space these 14 inches apart. And this would be just a nice easy way to have a bed rail system. The way they don't roll off the bed. Now I'm just going to rip in the middle a uh, 1 by 3 here 2 times. And what this will do, this will allow me to... Put some slats for the actual mattress to stay on. So I'm going to go ahead and just pre-drill these and screw these into the bottom of my 2x4s. And also I'll cut a total of 18 slats that are going to be 37 and a half inches long. Now that this is ready to be finished up, I grabbed a 1x3 and I went ahead and just ripped it right down the middle. That was 14 inches long. This will kind of be the end part that will attach that you'll see here in just a minute. And now it kind of comes a fun part, um, assembling this together. This is the first one, that 15 and a half inch headboard and footboard. And then this is the second part. Um, again, this can all be three individual beds. But right now, I'm just going to go ahead and put it together. And you can see where those dowel rods I cut down, I put in there to kind of help stabilize it, hold together. And, and it really worked out really good. And here's the... Um, 
bed rail system here. Um, I'm just going to put some, these are only kind of visible screws you'll see, but I kind of like the way the look of the screws there. Um, and I went ahead and put one on the side just to help stabilize it. And it actually turned out really strong. And for the stairs here, um, I actually changed my mind how I was going to do that. I went ahead and attached them because it helped stabilize the bed. Um, but I'll show at the end of this video how I redid the stairs. So something I liked a little bit better. And then I start grabbing all those slats, go ahead and put them in there. And you should only need about eight per bed. I had a few extra I put in there, but the bottom one obviously doesn't need it. And throwing the mattress in, and then also this is a more difficult way to put a mattress in. Don't do it that way. And then the bottom mattress just slides right in. Again, this is all twin size mattresses, and, and this is kind of what it will look like. Um, again, I'm, I'm going to redo the stairs there, but this is kind of what it looks like all assembled together here. And now for the stairs part, I'm going to cut two two by threes down to 64 and three quarters and then two two by threes down to 34 inches and this will be a the tall portion of the stairs and the bottom portion of the stairs and i'm going to go ahead and put a little kind of like half moon um, cut with my jigsaw here and this kind of help just give a little bit better look I'm going to cut these dowel rods to 13 and three quarters and after I get all these cut up um, I'll make sure all my marks are right and then I'm going to go ahead and get my spade bit here and I'm going to put a piece of tape on there for three quarter inch depth because I don't want to go much farther than that come out the other side and once I get all these holes drilled I'm just going to use a little bit of glue put it in each hole and put it in the dowel rod go ahead and put those all in and once I get all those dowel rods in um, I want to make sure that the width of this from outside to outside in the two by three is not going to be more than 12 and three quarters. So it should fit right perfectly between the end of the bed and also the guardrail there. I'm just going to repeat the same steps for the short ladder. Um, they're all going to be the same size and everything. So it's going to be 14 inches on center for the dowel rods, three quarter inch step, glue them, put them in, and they'll be ready to go. And once they're set up, I'll just go ahead and put these in there. And I'm just going to do two screws on top on each side, two screws in the middle, and then one screw on the bottom. And this just really makes this solid, um, really helps out a lot. And now it's easy for them to get up and down in their bed here. And here's the finished product. Um, again, it's it's set up as a bunk bed system with plenty of height and an eight foot ceiling, plenty of room there, but it also be three separate beds. Um, my wife wanted to keep the natural wood look, so I haven't stained it or anything yet. I'll eventually put a finished coat on it, a clear coat, but um, this is it, and it works out great. Kids love it, kids approved, and it only cost me about 120 bucks compared to almost 500 on Amazon.